sea level rise is one of the really big and global impacts of climate change. There are two main contributors to sea level rise. One is that as we warm the ocean water itself, the molecules of water actually expand and take up more space. We call this ocean thermal expansion. So as we warm the ocean, it is itself taking up more space. The other major contributor to sea level rise is adding water to the ocean via the loss of land ice. Land ice exists all around the world. Everywhere here in blue is somewhere that a glacier or land ice exists. And then you see Antarctica in the south, a continent, and Greenland, the Greenland ice sheet in the north, the world's largest island. And not only do we have a lot of spatial coverage of ice, but especially for the Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets, they are incredibly thick and contain remarkable amounts of sea level. The Greenland ice sheet reaches almost three kilometers thick in the interior. Imagine stacking seven Empire State buildings on top of each other from ground to the tip of the top. That means that the Greenland ice sheet contains roughly 7.4 meters of potential sea level rise. The Antarctic ice sheet, almost 60 meters of sea level rise. And as we're losing this ice, it's become the major contributor to sea level rise. So today, the heating of the ocean is about a one third of the sea level rise that we experience, and the loss of land ice is about two thirds. Not only are we seeing rising seas, but we see a variety of impacts related to these changes. So we have coastal erosion and loss of land. We have flooding that might inundate freshwater resources that we use for drinking water, or it might disrupt sewage systems that have been built. We might also see flooding happening in places it has never occurred before, or we might see places that used to flood occasionally flooding much more often or becoming permanently inundated. So there are a lot of challenges with sea level rise that local communities are experiencing and will need to adjust to in the future. But we also want to ensure that that sea level rise happens as slowly as possible with a small amount of total contribution. So which of these futures will we choose? Will we choose a future where we've taken strong action on climate change and we've managed to keep the waters of the ocean from lapping at the feet of St. Paul's Cathedral in London? Or will we continue to move towards this three degrees of global warming where we will commit ourselves to sea level rise that will reach many new locations and cause major problems with our infrastructure? So remember, sea level is rising. It will also rise more quickly in some locations than others with devastating consequences. Impacts include losing land, interrupting our water and sewer systems, damaging schools, buildings, losing freshwater resources. But slowing sea level rise, which is still possible, gives our communities time to plan and adapt and hopefully avoid some of the worst potential sea level that could arise if we don't take action.